Uh, Office Word is a software that we'll be using. So it's very important you get familiar with Office Word. I know some people are using Google Docs. Okay, I know it's a challenge because Google Docs doesn't have all the settings, huh? all the things you need. Huh? Or even if it has those settings, you may not uh, find them easily. Yeah, so it's important that you have uh, Office installed on your PC. Uh, for those who are using Mac, you'll be using Pages, I believe. <coughs> so, Mimi is to me a Pages, Mimi is a PC. So, I don't know how Pages looks like, but I believe it has all the settings we are talking about. It has times zero man, it has a, an option to put double spacing and everything. So, when you have a part of it, you set those settings, okay? So, when Office comes, it usually comes with uh, a default format, okay? In terms of the font, the spacing, the size and everything. Okay, usually in a Kwanga Calibri, Calibri Body 11, yes? The default one, when you just launch and install, when you've just installed Office and you've just uh, launched it, okay? If you just launch the program, you'll find it a Kwa Kwa Calibri 11. So if I was just to, to show that, Yangu Nisha set, huh? I've already uh, changed this, the default settings because when I launch and I open, I don't want it to be in any other format, okay? I just want it to be default to the format that you'll be using. So by default, if you opened your software for the first time, you realize it acquires something like uh, Calibri Body 11, and then probably spacing it acquires 1.5, I'm a single, 1.5 I believe, I'm not so sure. But generally, it won't be in the format that you are using for writing. So the first thing you want to do before you even do anything on your PC, on your Word, is to change those default options so that the moment you open your Microsoft Office Word, it automatically begins with the required font, okay? Which means it start, it launches with Times New Roman, 0.12, double spaced, okay? And things like that. So to do that, you go to styles op to, to style section on the menu ribbon, okay? So I usually call, I call this the ribbon, okay? We have clipboard, fonts, paragraph, style. So you go to styles. Before you do anything with your PC, with your, on your PC, on your Word, you'll, you'll notice this is called normal. It might be labeled normal, okay? So you can just even open your PCs right now and check. It will normal. So it will be normal because it may change, okay? So just hover above it and then right click, okay? And then say modify. So when you modify a page, this is where we, it allows us to change the defaults, Okay? So that we remove, usually it's a part of Calibri, okay, 11, maybe it's a core single spacing, or it's a core equal selected, okay, we took a ISO. So we need to change the defaults so that we have uh, times new Roman as the default setting. So we have to set it to default, like you know, like, you know sometimes when you're setting something to your default browser, you can launch it in a your browser. So again, you're talking about default, setting things equal the default, the one that you'll be using henceforth. So what you do the first thing, you, if you want to rename it, okay, uh, just edit out and then delete the normal, type in your name, okay? Let me just call it John. And then uh, under formatting, okay, you just go to, uh, you, you, can, you can just click on this drop down arrow here and then it will open up uh, quite a number of options, okay? Just look for Times New Roman, okay? And click on it. If it's not near, you can scroll back to T. But if you save time, just type TI kwa lapia kwa raka raka, ita ilete, karibu. And then you select to make up. And then, uh, here, select 12, okay? The color, make sure it's automatic, okay? Make sure it's automatic, all right? And then, if anybody has messed up with this, this is now where we call uh, alignment and justification. So you can see this is left alignment, center, and this is right alignment, and this is just justified margins, okay? So we, we write using the left alignment because we write from the left toward the, the right. So the lines will be straight on the, on the left side. So make sure it's on the left alignment, okay? So these three actions icons over here represent the spacing. So you can see this one, it shows uh, three lines which are closely together. So that represents single spacing. Here, the lines begins to, to move far away from each other. So this uh, represents uh, 1.5 spacing. And this one now represents double spacing, which is now 2.0 spacing, all right, okay? So what do we need in, in academic writing? We need double spacing. 
okay these two icons here represent now uh, represent the spaces between paragraphs so usually you can see in uh, the, these two uh, lines are pulling away from each other the arrows are looking in opposite directions it means the paragraphs are pulling away from each other which means there's an extra space between them and this one you can see the lines are pulling towards each other which represents that the paragraphs are are uh, closer to each other there is no extra space between paragraphs okay so I'd select the second option all right and this one is just uh, identing you know pushing a line to begin in front or behind so make sure you don't mess with this okay but for some reason if you find some to alisha click here pili okay rudisha hii so that vitu zianze kwa margins zianze zikuwa zimepushiwa uh, the entire paragraph is quite pushed ahead so i think john you need to select this because i think your pc ilikuwa na hiyo issue vitu zilikuwa zinaanza zikuwa zime pushiwa huko ndani i think could have been something to do with this so it means uh, everything begins uh, identified more or less all right so make sure you click on this option okay the first option just click on it and then after you've made all the, these settings the next thing i want you to click on format and go to paragraph okay and at here just ensure that identification left and right zote ziko set to zero special watch at back in none okay under spacing make sure before it's 0 point to 0 point okay make sure so kama imekuwa ukiweka ikiwa 12 reduce baka ikuje zero okay reduce hadi ikuje zero not auto ikuwe zero okay same to zero zero both ikuwe zero and then check this option don't add space between paragraphs of the same style this is what i was telling you guys unapata kuna space yenye iko between paragraphs sio same na spaces between lines so that is because this this box wasn't checked so make sure you check this box and make sure these two options spacing before and after zikuwa 0.0 point zote okay make sure it's 0 point make sure it's very important make sure it's 0 point and then just click okay oh i forgot underline uh, line spacing Sorry, line spacing just make sure it's double here just confirm but of, of course you've already set usha set here hapa so una need ya click ukita kwa two double anyway you start sha click up ukisha maliza hizo vitu usitoke make sure you select the option new documents based on this template kama uta click hii doc hii option hiyo kazi umefanya ni bure it applied kwa hiyo document umefungua ki close your file things are back to the way they were before you started changing all this So make sure you select this option new documents based on this template. This first option means only applies in this document, only in this document. The settings only apply in this the current document you've opened. But we so we need it to be there for good, all right? So just click on this option and then you click okay. Mimi stack ku rename yangu itwe Joan so nda click cancel, okay? Because insha set yangu ito as one. So I'm not going to change it. Wacha tu ibaki. The click cancel. But in your case, you must click okay after selecting this box click okay but major if click cancel you start to change when you to niko nazo okay yeah once you do that now you're good to go utakuwa na settings zako default ukiingia tu ku launch ukianza ku type the first word unakuwa sorted unaanza tu kuandika in times in roman point 12 uh, double spacing no extra spaces between paragraphs okay yes the other thing that you need to do most of us use the copy pasting function Okay we copy paste something from uh, let's say Google Scholar the references we paste on word okay sometimes you might forget to select the option the pasting option unza copy kitu ilikuwa na kalibri na upaste hapo usahau ku change kuje i paste kama eh times in roman acha nionyeshe tu kwa mfano Selio na copy paste kitu kama hii una this this which talk about copies from the internet ndio these references tutasoma tu sahi uki copy uki paste so una imekuja na hii font yenye ilikuwa nayo hata sio hivyo let me just um, let me nilikuwa ncha mess up na hiyo page so basically what it does unless kuna kitu umeambia machine ifanye uki paste inaweza kuja na ile font ilikuwa nayo huko na kama utakumbuka ku change utaiacha ina hiyo font Mayo font si temp sino man probably na sio double spacing unaona so hii yangu nishaambia software yangu nikipaste kitu hata sisikuuliza tafadhali convert hiyo kitu automatically to times new roman so this already you can see imeconvert your times new roman 0.12 double spaced 
but hata nirudisha ione venye ilikuwa kama ingekuja venye ilikuwa ilikuwa na hiyo font which is area 10 i think it's 1.5 spacing so kila saa ukipesa lazima ukilikaka kitu useme ukiliki keep text only ama merge formatting so hii na wasting time si ndio for watu wengi tunatumianga nini tunatumianga control v for pasting and control c for copying so kama unatumia control v for pasting is important that you remember that when you use control v pick this select this option click merge formatting otherwise utabaki na font gani ile nyenye ilikuwa nayo yuko online that that option for those who are pasting using uh, right clicking ile una right click and then you say paste so kuna kuna options za paste hapa kuna tatu kuna keep source formatting ni english tu keep source formatting ina maana nini from you can translate from english to swahili keep source formatting ina maanaisha baki ile format ilikuwa na huko kwa source the source where i've gotten it from i keep ikuje tu nai kwa venye ilikuwa that is what keep formatting ina maanaisha merge formatting kwa english ni kitranslate kwa kiswahili ina maanaisha nini changanya wewe ngori hapo ina maanaisha yani eh, zifuatane ziambatane whatever it just means that um, you, you it converts the font the format from whatever it was to what uh, you have on your word of on your word all built keeping some other things like uh, kama kuna maliliko italicize maintain the italicization okay so that is what we need right and then keep text only in manisha toa kila kitu kama kuna anything ilikuwa iko iko na table toa your table just paste the text if there's something that was uh, italicized remove the italicization but we want to maintain some some of those things okay so we, we need to use okay merge formatting so click that for those of you who are using najua kuna watu wengine wana paste wana kujanga wakishataka ku paste wana right click hapa ndio wanasema paste but kuna wale sisi tumezoea shortcuts control v so there's a way you can tell your machine to set this as a default uh, thing so unakuja kwa clipboard group remember tuko na several groups kuna styles group paragraph group we have fonts and we have clipboard so kwa clipboard kuja hapa kwa paste okay and then kuna ka arrow kameangalia chini i don't know if you guys can see that my screen i'm using a very um, smaller laptop ni next time ndo big screen ndo muone poa but kuna ka arrow kame kameangalia chini somewhere here so click on that arrow and then it will pop up uh, some options so you can see kuna mali maandiko set default paste we say the word setting default ina maana nini you set the thing that you want to be using from now onwards so i want you to select that so it will bring you to this page so just scroll through pole pole so that you easy options are cut copy paste the quote more visible okay this option is quote more visible so just scroll to pole pole with your name so the first option is some pasting within the same document it will the same in english to see if clinic rocket science this is not computer language pasting within the same document in amasha nini una copy kitu from uh, line ya kwanza una paste kwa the second line copying within the same document so you have a, one document that you are copying uh, maybe from the first paragraph to copying something to the third paragraph the same document so always select merge formatting pasting between documents so you have two documents document 1 and document 2 so you're copying something from the first document pasting to the second document select merge third option is pasting between documents when style definitions conflict so you're copying from two documents and the styles are not the same document 1 has a different style from document 2 so what do you do you merge then pasting from other programs other programs you initiate in a program program in a program ya serikali ina maana tu a software okay a program is a software so you're copying from another program called microsoft uh, not micro uh, google chrome that is a program that, that's an application to a google chrome okay that's a program in computer language so you're copying something from google chrome which means umeenda kwa browser uka copy hii kitu so me copy from google me am natumianga microsoft edge so copying from microsoft edge to another program called word okay this is the most important so we select also merge so all these four options number 1 2 and 3 and 4 they should be on merge 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 okay and then it's just good that you select this option show paste options button when content is pasted okay so check these boxes come you can check just click check and then click okay sawa so uki so, paste kitu itakuwa ina ina convert automatically to times new roman which is very important because if you don't do that sometimes utapata document yako iko na fonts ka 10 you maybe will copy 
ulikopi ilikuwa na kalibri kwa kopi kitu kingine hapa ikakuwa na another georgia kwa kopi kitu kingine hapa ikakuwa na another font so the document love so many fonts 